Singer Bugoy Drilon has broken his silence on the issue that he and his fellow singer Daryl Ong were allegedly barred from performing on ABS-CBN network. Bugoy clarified the incident during the online conference of his new single Impossible Love that he was just dragged into the said issue. Quote, Wala po akong sinunog na tulay. Actually, kinlear naman po ni Daryl sa video na nadamay lang ako. End quote. Bugoy's relationship with his home network was put at risk when his name was listed in a video leaked posted by Daryl. The singer also admitted that he doesn't want to talk about the issue. But to set the record straight, the singer finally revealed what truly happened. Quote, Ayoko na nga po sana pag-usapan ng issue na to kasi I'm at peace naman po sa puso ko. May kaibigan ka. Nag-uusap kayo, syempre hindi naman pwedeng hindi magsalita kasi you're part of the conversation. Ang sinabi ko lang po doon talaga kasi that time, nagkaroon sila ng sign petition, di po ba? Na 1 million signatures for that petition. End quote. Drilon said they were all waiting for their flight to Iloilo at the airport and he and Michael Pangilinan were talking about making investment where they were accompanied by a female road manager whom they did not name. Quote, Ang sabi sa akin ng isang RM or road manager hindi siya part ng Star Magic pero nag rm rm siya sa mga artista po. Ang pinag-uusapan po talaga namin ni Michael, nagpapatulong ako sa kanya tungkol sa stocks kung paano mag-invest sa isang stock market and then doon na nagbanter si ati girl na bakit hindi ka mag-invest sa ABS kasi medyo down sila. And then doon na siya nagsabi ng sa tingin mo marerenew ang franchise ng ABS-CBN and I said I think yes kasi nakita ko sa Facebook I think kulang na lang sila ng 60,000 sa 1 million signatures, I think yes, maririn nyo sila. Yun lang ang kinontribute ko sa conversation. But what do Bugoy Drilon feels on the rejected franchise? Bugoy revealed that he feels very sad for his home network. I feel so sad po because at the end of the day, balibalig na rin man po natin ang pangyayari. ABS-CBN helped me kung ano man meron ako and I'm forever grateful po sa kanila. He also said that without ABS-CBN, he won't be the situation that he is right now. Kasi hindi ko naman maa-achieve ang ganitong sitwasyon ko, ganitong status ko, because sila naman po talaga ang tumulong sa akin. On Daryl's point of view as well, he said that Bugoy showed him an online petition in support of the renewal of the ABS-CBN franchise, which only required 60,000 more signatures to meet the 1 million mark. Sabi ni Bugoy na 60,000 na lang ang kulang para mabuo yung 1 million. Ako naman nakita ko na rin yun. Ang pagkakakita ko naman 60,000 pa lang yung nagsasign. So sabi ko kay Bugs or Bugoy, hindi, hindi 60,000 na lang, 60,000 pa lang at anong petsa na. Wala na yan, malabo na yan, hindi na yan aabot kasi 60,000 pa lang anong petsa na, Daryl narrated. The comment that put him at risk was when he said that it is impossible for ABS-CBN to reach the said number of signatures. Tapos nagdadagdag ako ng comment na sabi ko mahirap yan, nako malabo na yan, mahirap yan. Kalaban ba naman nila ang gobyerno? Si Presidente ba naman ang kalaban? So malabo na yan. He said... He He's thankful for all the shows and projects that were entrusted to him which contributed to the development of his career. He also added that he has no grudge with ABS-CBN but only gratefulness for giving him the opportunity to share his talent. For more showbiz chica, subscribe to Chica Central because all you need to know is here.